So the fresh and rather brilliant MIUI 12 launcher from Xiaomi has already started rolling out to smartphones across the globe and it's even started appearing on fresh new Xiaomi mobiles as well such as the insanely cheap Poco X3 NFC. And as someone who's never been a huge fan of MIUI in the past it is incredibly refreshing to see some of the refinements that Xiaomi has packed into version 12 of its launcher. And as well as those improvements they've also added a couple of features that I've been absolutely gagging for like an actual dedicated app store. <laughs> Seriously, Xiaomi, thank you, thank you, thank you. The next time you're in town, beers are on me. But anyway, if you are new to Xiaomi smartphones or your own Xiaomi blower has only just updated to MIUI 12, well, here's my run through of all of the best new features packed into version 12 and some of the best bits in MIUI in general. And for more of the latest, greatest tech, please do put subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So as you may have uh, gathered already, I am rather excited by the fact that you now have a full-time permanent app store here in MIUI 12. It's something that has been offered by previous Xiaomi handsets, especially in the Poco side of things as well, but now it is actually built into MIUI so you can activate it on any Xiaomi smartphone. And to actually do so, what you'll need to do is dive on into the settings menu and then go to home screen. And in there, just a little way down, you'll find the app drawer option. And when you first open up the app store, you'll see all of your apps are there organized alphabetically just as they are in your standard Android apps tray. But then if you flick to the left, you'll see that you've got all of the apps organized by categories as well. And when you're first setting up your MIUI 12 smartphone, I highly recommend using swipe gesture navigation as well instead of having that navigation bar at the bottom. It's just much neater and easier. And to activate gesture navigation, just dive once again into the MIUI settings, scroll all the way down to additional settings, and then you'll find the full screen display option. Just tap full screen gestures and you are golden. Now, one of the apps that I really like that comes pre-installed on a MIUI device is the security app, which has evolved nicely over time. The security app is basically a one-stop shop for checking the status of your smartphone, resolving any issues, and also accessing great features like the block list for stopping spammy gits from spamming you. So for instance, if you find yourself running low on storage space on your Xiaomi smartphone, just hit the cleaner, and this will basically tidy up a whole bunch of crap that it's found on your phone that you almost certainly won't need anymore. And if you're a wee bit concerned about simply deleting files willy-nilly, no worries, you can tap your way into any of these categories and see exactly what is going to be deleted. If you've got an older Xiaomi smartphone occasionally sort of stutters and stumbles a bit as well you've also got the boost speed feature which is well worth doing just helps to clear out some of the memory give you extra resources to use for your apps and this also gives you direct access to battery saver tools as well so again if you find yourself running low before you're all tucked up with teddy at night no worries and you've got virus scanners and all the rest and if you scroll down to the very bottom of the security app you'll find even more features hidden away down there as well some of which are well worth getting accustomed with and i'm going to be covering some of those in this guide and one of the most important bits hidden away down here is definitely the privacy features this will tell you exactly what your apps are up to with or without your knowledge. MIUI 12 like a lot of modern day launches is taking privacy very very seriously indeed and it's great to get an overview of exactly which apps have access to important bits like your microphone, uh, your camera tech, even your location access and sometimes they can be tracking this stuff in the background without you knowing it. So it's definitely worth your while just occasionally diving in here checking exactly what has access to all of those important bits and if there's anything in there that you think shouldn't have access then just give it a tap and hit deny and and that'll be it done. Now one of the coolest new bits in MIUI 12 is definitely the space-based super wallpapers and that might sound a little bit dull or a little bit over the top but they are absolutely lush. You see on the lock screen you start with a pulled out view of a planet but then when you actually unlock the device zoom, camera whips around and pans straight into a certain element on that planet it's an absolutely incredible effect and yes i know it makes me a bit of a sad twat but i get a giddy kind of childlike thrill every time i unlock the smartphone and see that animation it's even made me want to use these live wallpapers instead of my usual geeky anime shenanigans however unfortunately these super wallpapers are rather heavy on the resources just like every live wallpaper out there they'll suck up memory and so you won't find the super wallpapers on every single miui 12 device out there but no worries if you find that you get that miui 12 upgrade on your Xiaomi phone and you don't have the super wallpapers because those lovely folks over at XDA developers have actually extracted the super wallpapers and bundled them as an APK that you can download from their website. Just install those APKs as usual and then you'll need the Google wallpapers app to actually set them to your default wallpaper but there's full instructions on XDA developers so I'll let you go check those out. Now one of the other features that can be quite helpful on MIUI is the floating window feature just allows you to get a bit of multitasking on the go and it is something that we've seen quite a lot on a motion 
UI and lots of other launches out there too. You can find out more information on Float and Windows by diving into the settings and then going to special features and then you'll find the Float and Windows section in there. When you get a notification dropping down from the top you can then drag it down onto the main screen and then as you see it becomes a Float and Window which you can then minimize, maximize and rescale as much as you like. To minimize a Float and Window all you've got to do is drag it up to the very corner of the display. You can also maximize it by pulling it all the way down like so or you can just get rid of it by pulling it all the way up and you can open up a float and window with the app of your choosing as long as it's supported at any point simply by opening up the recent apps tab and then just long press on whichever one you want and this bad boy over here is the float and window icon. As someone who really likes murdering strangers on the likes of Call of Duty as well I'm a big fan of Xiaomi's game Turbo Mode which seems to have improved and evolved over time and in MIUI 12 it's just as lovable as ever. And you can access Game Turbo nice and easily just by diving into the settings, scrolling down to the special features section and then it's right in there. Otherwise you'll also find it tucked away at the bottom of the security app like I told you about earlier. And the Game Turbo app gives you access to a whole bunch of great gamer related features. So for instance you've got performance optimization to help the game run to its full potential and I also really like the enhanced experience section as well which allows you to for instance turn off the auto brightness so you don't get balked by that mid game. And then when you're actually running a game you can also fast access a whole bunch of these settings via the in-game menu. This menu can be dragged down from the top left corner like so and it gives you access to a whole bunch of useful features so for instance you can fast load a bunch of different apps in a floating window such as the internet browser if you need to get online check a walkthrough for a particularly tricky level. You've also got fast access to messaging apps like WhatsApp and your emails as well in case your boss is like where the hell is that PowerPoint I asked you to do 12 hours ago. And there's even more great features over here on the right hand side as well including the ability to screen record as well if you just want to save those extra embarrassing moments for posterity when you manage to teabag your best friend 12 times in a single game. And last up the final MIUI 12 feature that I want to talk about is the video toolbox feature which once again can be found scrolled away at the bottom of that security app. With this feature enabled you'll notice that on compatible apps you have this very light grey bar just scrolled away on the left hand side. If you just swipe that out then that's how you activate the video toolbox. And this serves up the ability to record your screen, take a screenshot or cast it to another smart display with just a quick tap. And you've also got the ability to apply a quick filter to whatever you're watching as well. I think it quite suit black and white as well. I think it's probably the sharp contrast with my incredibly pale skin. And you've also got fast access to that float and windows feature from here as well. If you want to open up another app on top of your video so you can continue enjoying it while also messaging or checking your emails or whatever. But for me the best feature on the video toolbox is definitely just an extra flick away. Play video sound with screen off. This is particularly brilliant if you're for instance uh, listening to a podcast or an audio book or something like that on the likes of a YouTube. Uh, you just want to listen to the sound though. You don't actually want the video playing at the same time. So for instance you can slip it back in your pocket. Listen on your Bluetooth headphones. Terrible. Mark 2 so I've got high hopes for the 5. So big up your Xiaomi that is a fantastic feature. And that right there is my full in-depth look at MIUI 12 and some of the best features that you'll find stashed on there. But what are your own favourite features if you've been using MIUI 12 definitely let me know what I've left out down in the comments below and for more the latest greatest tech please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers everyone. Love you.